All right, so who do we have here today? Uh, my name is Josh. I do a lot of like paint pours and landscape art and 3D printing. Nice, nice. Where are you, uh, where are you, where are you originally from? From Chicago? Uh, I grew up uh, in Elwood. I live in Joliet now. Okay. Who's it? Who's it? So what got you into uh, doing your art? You have different arts that you do, but like, yeah, what got you interested? Uh, so I'm weird looking at the camera. I want to look at you. Oh, uh, no, yeah, you can look at the camera. It's fine. Wait, which should I look at? Yeah, the camera, yeah. Uh, it's distracting. Okay, so how did I get into art? Is that what you asked? Yeah, yeah. Um, I've been, you know, when I was a little kid, I used to walk around with a little notebook and like, sketch a lot of stuff. I do dragons and little aliens, stuff like that. Um, I kind of got away from it for a while due to just like different things happening in my life. I, uh, I started getting a whole lot into music, so I play a bunch of different instruments now. Uh, it's been maybe a year or so since I started back up doing art. I had a friend of mine who uh, she started bringing her like all of her paint. She brought canvases and all this different stuff to uh, the bar that we go to. There's like an open mic there. Mm -hmm. uh, her name's actually Sam Gates. She does a bunch of paint pours too. Uh, there's a small little bar called we call it the Drunken Donut down in Joliet. It's like this, it's a very unique place. And I wanna say it's one of my favorite places to go, but yeah, she was, she started bringing her paint stuff to that about maybe a year or so ago. Did that for a couple months and I just tested it out and started doing some landscaping, landscape artwork. And I just, you know, I feel it's it's a peaceful thing to do. It's really easy to get into a flow state and not worry about stuff and not have to worry about other people telling you what to do and how to do it. So it's a peaceful thing, I guess. Yeah, it's like a free free flowing kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. What uh, what do you want people to get from your art when they when they look at it or when they like you know take a look at it? Jeez. Um. No, not up until recently. Um, I haven't really given that much thought. It's just I've enjoyed the experience of making it, but I, mm. I would hope it would bring others the same piece as it does to me. Gotcha. Gotcha. Any like specific techniques that you use? Um, so I got, I've been getting really into paint pouring. So I've been learning all the ins and outs of that. There's, you'd think it'd be pretty simple to just pour paint on the canvas, but it's actually very in-depth and you never really know what you're going to get. You can kind of affect it. There's a lot of different processes in doing it, materials, uh, ratios of what you put into the paint, so. Gotcha. Why do you, uh, why do you make art? Or why do you, yeah, why do you, yeah, why do you make art? I, I don't I just I just enjoy doing it mm. um, I, it's a it's a dream of mine to make it as an artist or as a musician to be able to do that full time and work for myself but even I still be doing I'm still doing it even though it's not making me a whole bunch of money but I just want to start taking things seriously and trying to create my own business and get more control in my life, yeah. I suppose. If you were to, uh, let's say, if you were to get your business rolling with your art, like, what do you, what would you like to accomplish with that? Uh, I just want to be self-sustaining, and hopefully, if I make enough, I can start contributing back. And you know, um, what do you call it? Donating and helping, helping my friends out, people in need. So I feel like at, the, at, at like for most of my life it's just been you know kind of paycheck to paycheck sort of thing. I just I want to be able to invest in my future rather than yeah exactly. I feel you. being stressed yeah. out all the time. <laughs> yeah. 
No, nah, yeah, I get you. I get you. And then also too, like, um, if a young artist were to come up to you and ask you, you know, what I mean, for like a word of advice, like, what kind of advice would you give them? Oh man, <laughs> that would that really depends on the person uh, and where they're at. Because, I mean, I'm 29 and I'm still trying to figure out like figure out life. But I would say um, when I was like 18, I felt like, you know, um, it would be, what's the word? The, the investment of money into making the art was something that held me back from doing it for a while. I, I was very frugal because I had to be. So, um, that held me back, so I would say, put what you can into it, I guess, and don't don't let that sort of thing hold you back. Like, find a way. I guess you. You're like, go go all in, 100%. Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm I'm the sort of person that's like, if I want to do something, I I'm gonna go all in. Yeah, yeah. Or as best as I can. Um, I would just say don't let try not to let things discourage you from moving forward you don't have to you don't have to be perfect the first time it's just the process itself is something that you can enjoy mm, that's powerful for sure enjoy the process <laughs> I hear a lot of great people talking about that so yeah for sure that's dope that's dope and um for people that's trying to get in touch with you or uh, get in contact with you, like where can they reach you? Okay, so I would say the best way to contact me right now is through my Instagram, which is Joshua underscore R E S E R. Uh, that's well, like I said on Instagram. Is it? All right. Cool, cool. See, I told you it wasn't gonna be too crazy. <laughs> I survived. <laughs> hey, yeah, legit, legit.